You just partied, did you? <laughs> Sorry? You just partied. Yeah, also. Screw the movie. <laughs> Screw the movie. It's just gonna go yeah. party. So guys, thank you very much for your time here and congratulations on the movie. Thank you. And uh, I'd like to know one thing, I don't know if you guys agree with me, but in the latest couple of years we have a lot of good horror movies, yeah. new horror movies. I agree with that. Why did you guys think that we have this new era of horror movies? I think that a lot of the filmmakers that are making stuff now were inspired by that like boom in the late 70s and 80s that were coming out. when. They were kids, and, and uh, they're nostalgic for that. But th they also realize that you can couple that with like real deep emotional stories, and that the film can be like cinematic and good as well. I think it's just for respecting the genre, you know. I mean, it's about kind of trying to hopefully go as deep as you can with it. Like we did a, a better job of trying to say what we wanted to say with horror, you know. So I think that. Filmmakers that, that embrace that, like Jordan Peele, is great at it. They're able to scare people and have a fun have a fun time in the movies, but the film is also saying something. Pet Cemetery, well, we're obviously trying to make a comment about death and about grief and about communication and talking about grief, you know? So what better way to do it than with, you know, a bunch of scares along the way. First of all, congratulations on the movie. Thank you. It was really, really good. And I want to know, how did you know Pet Cemetery? Uh, it was just for the movie, and if you watch the, the, the first movie, how was your reac reaction when you watch it? I actually didn't see the movie. Oh. I think like when I'm acting, I guess I have like, my imagination kind of takes over, and um, I think if I might have seen the original, I might not like have had as many like, creative ideas, I guess. Also, especially because this, I wanted to like take on my own version, I guess, especially since this um, this movie is so different. And Kevin, what did you think that is uh, the, the most important thing when you do it in adaptation? I think the most important thing is staying true to the essence of the book. Like, as you know, we made some changes in this movie from the book. You know, there's already a movie that we all love of Pet Cemetery, so we wanted to give people a, a new experience that could exist in with the other one. You know, two separate movies. Jason, when you read the the script, what mm. did you saw there that stand out uh, the most? Well, the changes the from the book. As you know, with every script that's an adaptation, they're going to have to you know amalgamate, cut, change, and you know sometimes they'll come up with a whole different you know section to make it their own, and and that's that's the first thing you clock and you go, okay, well. Did I enjoy that? You know, can I stand by? Does it still is it still from the book? Is it still about the book and respectful of that? You know, and people that love it. Yeah. So that that, that was the big one for me. Last night you said that it was really good to to play your part in the movie because you got like two sides of the same character. Yeah. How was to build that? Um, it was really cool because I got like to play like really sweet and kind and um, funny, but I also got to play like very like dark and mysterious and that was also cool because I got to get in like her head I guess you know, with her like nice motives and her evil motives. You watched the movie last night, right? Yeah. It was the first time that you saw the movie? Yeah. What did you think of uh, what, what was your reaction when you saw? It was really cool because I, I like I was like, oh my god, that's me! <laughs> um, and when I saw myself, I wasn't that scared because I already like knew what happened, I guess, because I read the script and I, I did it. <laughs> um, so it wasn't that scary, but yeah. um, for some of the jump scares, even though I knew when they were, I was still like a little shocked. <laughs> and uh, for the, the fans of horror movies, why they should go to the movies to, to watch it? We just saw it for the first time yeah. last night. And so, and, and it was super fun. I mean, it was, it was one of the most gratifying first screening experiences of anything I've been involved in because it, the audience, it was so interactive and it's so cathartic to sit there and watch how the audience really just interacts with the vocally too. It's so respectful and, and really holds up the book in a deeper sort of human way in the, in the relationship of the parents and sort of uh, about grieving. So there's this deeper current underneath, but it's still wildly entertaining and funny and and like and really scary. Cool. Thank you guys. Thank, thank, you, thank you very much. much. Thank you guys. Thank you. Cool. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.